Greetings friends and welcome to Enigma Night Gaming. My name is Liara and I will be your guide in today's adventure. Today we're playing King's Quest 3 and once again we hop into the role of Gwydion as we are trying to escape from the clutches of the evil wizard who holds us imprisoned in the Tower on the Hill. But in today's episode, we're going to escape a few times right from under his very nose. And we're going to explore places he definitely doesn't want us exploring. So without further ado, let's hop into the game. Okay, so I just want to, like, wait until he goes away, I think. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can do in here. We might just need to well did we need to clean the kitchen we may need to let's go ahead and do that real fast i mean might as well do our chores just to take care of it right and then if he has another chore for us we'll uh remember what it is and we'll do it and then hopefully he'll go away soon um, not sure what else. Mananan eyes you with a snaggle toothed sneer. I am going to lie down for a rest. Do not disturb me. Okay. Alright, so we have some time now. Alright, let's go ahead and leave. While the time is green, we're good. When it starts turning yellow, we gotta think about coming back. And when it's red, then it's the danger time. So, we'll, we'll have to see what we can do. He's sleeping so we can roam freely, basically. We already got our eagle feather, which apparently is magical. Alright. Um, I want to go visit the three bears again. We, we still need to figure out how to make amends, so maybe there's something we can figure out about them. Um, we gotta make sure they're not there, though. But there may be something we can do. Uh, cause they don't like us. Um, which is understandable, I suppose. Okay, they're going. Alright, they're leaving. Nice. Hurry they're along there, Mildred. <sighs> yes, George. Mama, my button's not done up! Button? Haven't you taught him anything, Mildred? It's a bit difficult for him, George. <laughs> Alright. Can we do anything with these flowers? You left your green thumbs at home. Let's look at it. What a beautiful garden, you think. The residents must take great care of it. Dew has formed on the petals from the night before. Dew. Maybe we can, like, get some of that if we can find a container. We'll have to see. All right. In we go. Um, there is another bowl of porridge, which I feel like we might Just need. right. So you especially, take it with you. Especially if the wizard, like, Cheery flames crackle in the fireplace. The bears must feel the cold. Um, homely bunch, aren't they? Homely bunch, aren't they? Can we move these paintings? The bears aren't known for hiding their prizes behind paintings. Alright, can we check the chairs? You sink too deeply in the overstuffed chair. This chair is much too soft. Alright. What about this one? You feel very small hard. and uncomfortable in this big chair. This chair is much too hard. All right. Um, can we you take warm anything? your hands by the fire. All right. Let's go upstairs. See if we can find anything upstairs. We don't want to go to sleep because we got thrown out last time. But maybe there's something in the drawers we didn't explore really. You closely examine the contents of the drawer. Uh, what is this? There is a spool of black thread in the drawer. Okay. There is a little silver sewing thimble here. Okay. You can see a very ornate pin cushion in the bottom of the drawer. Something tells you it belongs to Mama Bear. All right. A small blue bottle rests in the bottom of the drawer. A small green bottle rests in the bottom of the drawer. All right. Well, can we take any of this there stuff? There is nothing of use there. 
As handy as a small bottle may be in other games, you see no use for it in this one. All right. Your clothes may be in need of repair, but you hardly have the time to worry about such things. All right. What you about this? You pick up the thimble. Okay. Oh, it's magical. That's not good. Your clothes may be in need of repair, but you... All right. We need to hurry up and figure out what to do with this then. Close the door. Uh, what about this? You this. are in the Bear family's cozy bedroom. Three beds share with a chest of drawers. Anything under the rug? You are in the Bear... Okay. Uh, let's... Maybe we can put the dew in the thimble. It's the only container we found. I mean, that seems silly, but... I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Maybe it'll make it not magical. Just like how the fly was not magical until we, uh... Pulled the wings off and now it's magical. Holding the silver thimble beneath a dew-filled flower, you gently tip the flower so its dew runs into the thimble. You move from flower to flower, repeating the process until your thimble is brimming with dew. Nice. All right. Uh, well, let's save that. All right. Um, I want to see if there's anything we can do with the honey. But I don't know what we would do. Because um, I don't know that we have anything. Unless we can somehow fill the cup up. You can't use that item there. Okay. I guess I could have tried... You know, I should try and see if we can fill the cup up with dew. I didn't even think about that. You can't use that item there. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Um, can we go over here? We don't want to get robbed, for sure. There's a town up here. Oh, maybe we can go find the lady that uh, was talking to us that we saw through the telescope at the beginning. A sign above the store reads, General Store. The seagull feasts on its latest lunch. Catch of the day's reject. Do we need it? Maybe. Okay. We got, oh, it's a magical fish, too. A discarded fishing net lies on the ground. It has been here so long that grass has begun to grow over it. Do we need that? Leave the fishing to those in the know. Okay. Uh, there's an anchor here. It's a here. massive anchor. Perhaps it got left behind. Perhaps? What is this? A discarded fishing net lies on the ground. Okay. All right. Can we uh, go in here? We got to keep an eye on the time. Let's see what we got here. Good day to you, young man. What can I do for you? Let's talk to him. Greetings. What have you for sale? I have many an item that might interest you. For instance, you might wish to purchase a leather pouch. Very suitable for carrying things in, as you might expect. Indeed. Anything else? I have no. numerous consumables that you may wish to acquire. Take a look at the shelf behind me. See if there's anything you would like. Okay, let's look. The shelves are stocked with many useful items, such as leather pouches, salt, fish oil, and lard. I've got some dusting to do. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Um, the shell... Yeah, there's nothing we can do there. A content hairy dog sits on the floor of the store. Its name tag reads, Hank. What's this? The store provides supplies enough to meet the needs of the village. Okay. As it is chilly so close to the ocean. The wood stove is hard at work heating the little store. All right. I don't know what we Tis would need. It is better to purchase than to purloin. Of course. Um, can we talk about this? You can tell this? what's on the shelves without them telling you. Well, what do we need? Can we, like, ask Just a him moment. for, like, the basket now, or what something? what can I do for you? Tell me, good storekeep. What news is there of the outside world? Oh, I'm afraid I don't keep up much with current events. I have my own concerns, what with my work and family. I don't need any more from anywhere else spoiling my day. In that case, anything new happening around here? Around Ludor? It is the same old town as it has always been. Ships come in, ships go out. People come in, people go out. Money comes in, <laughs> and I prefer not to think on the next part. Of course. What else? If you don't mind my asking, how many in your family? I have about six children. About? Aren't you sure? I am but the breadwinner of my household. I spend most of my day, each day, tending my shop. If my dearest says that I have six <laughs> children, then who am I to argue with her? Oh, 
Okay, that's kind of weird. How long have you been married? Ten years. Happily? The first marriage was an enjoyable time. The second marriage helped to pass the time. The third was a total waste of time. And now? <laughs> I have not the desire to spoil my present union with the binds of legal matrimony. Why ruin a perfectly good relationship? Um, okay. What do you know about Mananin? The shopkeeper appears a little uncomfortable at the mention of the wizard's name. I, I, I would rather not be discussing the likes of him. Not out loud, anyway. He has a way of knowing what's going on in this town. He can see things only a wizard could see. Yes. I sure he hope I don't get into that telescope. many marriages. Besides, he's in charge around here. So long as we stay quiet and peaceful and do as we're asked, no if harm will come asked, to us. Of course. You should know that, my young man. Oh, I do. More than you could know. What sort of curfews does Mananan have on the town's people? The usual. No noise after nightfall. Bed before the 20th hour. That's no like festivities at any time. PM. Nothing unreasonable, I should think. Especially when saying otherwise means... Exactly. Mm -hmm. Are you keeping well? As well as can be expected. Aside from the shakes I get from time to time, the sores, the dizziness, the headaches, and the ringing in my ears, I'm doing quite well. Perfectly I'm fine. Glad to hear it. Of course. I'm fine when I don't think on my past wives. Okay. You have nothing further to discuss with the storekeep. Can we give the puppy a pet? Let's see. You pat the hairy dog and are rewarded with a handful of malted hair. Nice. Oh, it's going to be... Man, we got so much magical items. He is going to kill us dead. Let's, let's save this. Man. All right, what about the tavern? A battered sign reads, Tavern. Can we go in there? I'm really getting nervous about the time. Will it be for you, sir? A good pull of ale? Or you're rather a drama rum? My, ain't you the handsome one? Let's talk to her. What do you sell here? For you... I'd sell more than this here tavern offers. <laughs> but me husband won't be appreciating that. Get uh, <clears throat> I meant, uh, what beverages do you serve? What's that? <laughs> drinks. What drinks do you serve? Oh, now you be talking me language. Somehow you doubt you could ever be talking her language. <laughs> this place can sell you the finest liquor the land has to offer. Anything else? What else is there? Ale and rum, of course. You're a cutie, you know. Uh-huh. Any news from abroad? You talking about gossip? Well, sort of. The kind one hears from other countries. Don't get much in the way of foreign gossip. Except from the sailors, of course. Oh, wow, well, yeah, I know. Sure. <laughs> She's they just, drop just like anchor, throwing herself at them. Here, drink themselves full, then set sail again. Incredible. That we get sailors in here? No, that there aren't wrecked ships all up and down the coastline. <laughs> you have nothing else to say to the barmaid at the moment. All right, what do we got over here? Let's see. A tapestry, which bears a striking resemblance to the Jolly Roger, hangs next to a lute on the wall. Okay. This instrument looks out of place here. What's this? The town tavern is a haven for visitors, reputable and otherwise, to engage in behavior suitable and otherwise. She can talk to me in her language all day, every day. <laughs> the barrels contain a fair quantity of rum. You'll notice that one is dripping and has the letters DB etched into the side. Can we get some rum in our little cup? Let's you see. can't use that. You can't. You can't. I don't know if we're able to use it you here can't. at all, but we'll see. Can we take this little loot? Can I help you there? Just wondering where this instrument came from. Young man used to come in here a long time ago. About your age, according to me daddy. Had that thing he liked to play. Seemed to make him happy. Can we ask her about it? The loot made this young man happy? Uh oh. He ain't done it for we the money. We gotta go soon. Just like to play is all. You know, entertain the customers. Who was he? Don't rightly remember. I was only a wee mite then. Think he lived with the wizard. Though I might be mistaken. Was that us? Does the loot now hang on the wall? One day, the young man stopped coming over. Daddy found the instrument lying just outside. 
said it was real weird how the air around it smelled all smoky. Though there mm. weren't no fire about. Anyway, he put it on the wall, in case the man should come back for it. Do you think he will? Hard to say. No one's seen him in years. May I borrow the loot? You one of them musy types. Um, yes I am. A lot of man <laughs> who explores his creative side. Indeed, I'd very much like to practice with it. Of course you can oh, have it. Oh boy. Thank you. If you agree to play for the establishment. Okay. You want me to play for you? You're catching on good. I don't think that I'm ready to perform publicly. Oh, come on. We ain't had a good performance around here for years. I couldn't. Really. Well, the loot will be there if you change your mind. All you right. have nothing else to say to the barmaid at the moment. All right, we need to we need to go. We need to run back. We don't have time for anything else. We got to skedaddle. The wizard be waking up soon. My only hope is that we can get up to the mountain in time and hide our loot. Not that loot, all the other loot. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's I am ravenous. Out. Fix me something immediately. All right. I feel like it keeps saying um, you're not close enough. I feel like that means um, that he. Uh, Manan is impatiently could... waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. I wonder if we could you poison him. You better feed him. him quickly, or dire consequences. Maybe that's may how result. we escape. Maybe we concoct some kind of sleeping drought or something in the oatmeal we give him, and um, are able to escape that way, possibly. Maybe. Can we talk to him? Uh, master. What is it? Speak quickly, boy. If I may know, uh, how long have I been here? The better part of 18 years. Will I be turning 18 soon? Yes, quite soon. Perhaps you will be allowed to do something special on that day. Go someplace you have been denied previously. Maybe. Really? You can't help but feel a tinge of hopefulness. Perhaps the wizard will grant you a small degree of freedom once you've come of age. Maybe. Yes. I've been thinking that my tower could do with some <laughs> dusting. Oh. <laughs> if you're unhappy with that prospect, then I could arrange a shortening of your tenure. Of my service? To you? Of your time on this world. <laughs> Mananan does not appear in much of a talkative mood at the moment. Conversing with him further might be unwise. All right, so I guess um, we'll just be on our way then. Um, I I, I want to figure out. We found those books before with symbols on it. Uh, there's nothing behind this picture. Are there other pictures down here? Let's look. Maybe there's some other pictures. Like, I haven't looked in the study really. Uh, is there anything behind this? I have decided to take a journey. Oh, good. Nice. Okay. Wizard journey. All right. So you've cleaned up that? in here for as long as you can remember, perhaps longer. All right. So I immediately want to go check out his room because uh, I couldn't check it out before. I want to like look in his all of his stuff again and see if I got everything. Maybe I've missed something. Now that I'm understanding how the game is supposed to work, let's make sure we didn't miss anything. So is there anything you, back you're... here? I... What is this? It's something magical, whatever it is. Let's close this. What is this? The magic map's faded ink has brightened in certain spots, depicting locations at Ludor. Okay. All right, I don't know what we do with that. We're definitely going to go hide it under our bed, though. Like, right away. Um, maybe we can go look in the telescope. Now that he's not there, maybe uh, we'll be able to see something. Like, maybe we can communicate with the lady again. Let's go ahead and hide this. 
All right. Oh, we also need to go get another bowl of porridge because he's going to come back and he's going to be famished. But let's go ahead and let's um let's look through this telescope while we're here. The well-polished brass telescope is used by Manana to keep tabs on the citizens of Ludor. Let's look through it now that nobody's here, not even the cat. You put your eye to the glass. It amazes you how near everything seems. You could even see squirrels climbing faraway trees. No wonder the wizard knows of all activities in Ludor. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we can't do anything else with that. Um, let's go ahead and let's go grab another bowl of porridge if we can. Because I don't want to be caught without that in case he comes back. Um, and then we can think about what we want to do. I haven't seen any um, pictures. Um, and plus, maybe there's something more. We I still want to figure out what we can do with the chickens. But maybe we can do something more with the flowers. Like, we, it said we left our green thumb at home. But maybe, um, like in previous games, you could pick like a four-leaf clover. But it had to be like kind of in a specific area. So we can investigate it a little closer if they're not there. Oh, they're coming back. They're back from their trip. We can't get the porridge. I wonder what would happen if we knocked on the door. Would they talk to us? Maybe. And say hi. Will they talk to us or they just tell us Scram! to go away? Nope, they're just going to tell us to go away. Well, darn it. Um, well, I guess let's go back to town. Um, we can't waste time. We got to figure out something we can do. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe now we can try and play the loot. Let's talk to her. Oh, there's people here. Get lost. Beat it, kid. Okay. Two surly men sit drinking ale. They see you looking at them and glare back. Mm-hmm. Can we play the loot? I'll give it a try. Wonderful. <laughs> this is awful. That was terrible. I'm a bit rusty. You sure are. Can I have the loot now? Wouldn't feel right giving it to someone who's not musy enough. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to practice. Hmm. Wench! Come over here, more ale! Oh boy. I wonder what she has to say. You have nothing else to say to the barmaid at the moment. Okay. The town tavern is a ha- Is there anything back Bottles here? Bottles of rum and do? ale line the shelves behind the bar. Hmm. Could Bottles we? of rum and ale line the shelves behind the bar. Can we take any of it? I mean, I don't know why we would need Tempting, it, but- But it's good form to drink from a glass. Uh, is there a glass around? We, could we use our cup? This is just a simple metal cup. This just is a just a simple metal, metal cup. Can we There's take nothing it? In Maybe we can fill it up? You can't use that item there. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out what to do here. Somehow we're going to have to figure out how to play the loot. Hmm, what else do we got? We still got to find some food. We're going to be in trouble. There's a library here. There's no way in through the wall. Whoops. Whoever boarded it up did an admirable job. It's a library, but it's closed down. Once the pride of the town, the library is now a forgotten shell. Huh. Boxes have been stacked along the side wall. Can I open them? What's inside? Oh, we can climb up them. Despite the fact that the window is ajar, it will not open wide enough to allow entry. There's a small brass latch on the inside, which your fingertips cannot quite reach. Can I use my knife? 
Let's see. You slide the knife's thin blade through the gap and easily flip the latch. Nice. Now I can go in. Awesome. Uh, what is this? This book has been left more recently, as in the last 20 years. I see stuff that says spells. Let me guess, of course. This is what? The book from the library looks similar to the books that line the shelves of Mananan's study. Of course they do. You'll have to stop breathing if you start brushing dust off. All right, what else do we got? Necromania, a compendium for compulsive coffin collectors. Oh, boy. Rows of knowledge, local and wide, sit lost to an apathetic audience. What about The library here? is dark, and you squint through the still and musty air. Okay. I don't want to waste too much time here. I want to get some food for him. So let's see if we can go back to the bears now. Maybe they'll be gone. Good. They're leaving. Nice. All right. Don't you go wiping your nose on those clean clothes, Junior. Your mother will have to wash them. Won't you, Mildred? Yes, George. Wipe it on your fur instead. Okay, Papa. <laughs> oh, now I will have to bathe him again, George. All in a day's work, Mildred. <laughs> yes, George. Man. <laughs> they sound like a very uh, interesting little uh, family there. Let's get in and get our porridge. All right, grab the porridge. Just right. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. I feel more confident about saving it now. I was a little nervous when we didn't have the food. I want to see if there's anything we can do over here. Maybe we can not get robbed. Uh, can we... Come up, like, what is with this? A small cactus grows near the edge of the desert. So this is the desert? The grassy forest carpet merges with the vast desert. Yeah, I wonder... This is very... What about this? You scoop up a small handful of sand. All right. Is it... It's magical? Of course it is. The sand stretches ever westward as far as your eye can see. What about this Cacti flower? Cacti are common in deserts, and these are no exception. This is not a the cactus, The trees though. must have germinated during an unseasonable wet spell. Can I do anything you with this? You don't need kindling. What about flowers? Okay. Um. Ouch. Okay, so I can't do anything Ouch. with the cactus. All right. We got sand, though, and we've got a magic book. I want to figure out what to do with the honey, though. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like, you know, maybe you could smoke them out. But we would need some more supplies, I think. Um, what is this? The flowers are pretty uninteresting. Okay, what about these? The flowers are... Rocks rest all around. There's a tree here. You look up into the towering oak tree. You can only see large spreading branches and thick leaves. Looking down, you see a small hole between the tree's large roots. Okay. What's in the hole? You bend down and look into the small hole. It's too dark inside to see anything. Just look at the flowers. The flowers are pretty uninteresting. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, run, 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 run. I'm not letting you guys rob me again. Uh. Days, they're all the same. I have no plans. My life's a shame. I'm soon a man, little I know. Should I care? I've nothing to show. Youth spent crying. Uh, hello. Can we talk to you? Greetings. That's an interesting poem. Thank you. I wrote it myself. It's not finished, though. What is it about? 
It speaks of a young man longing for a better life. Sounds Naturally. familiar. Just as I long for the seductive murmur of an audience anticipating my every word. Say, are you busy? Fairly. <laughs> Fairly. Pain throbs to my chores, replacing toys. What are they for? Can I feel joy? I've never heard the sounds of cheers. Only the birds see tears falling. Oh boy. Have you always wanted to be a poet? No. Before I left my hometown to cross the vast desert to this land, I wanted to be a dancer. A dancer, happened, huh? I was excommunicated by a populace immune to talent. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. No matter. Soon after, I heard the muse call. Bound to her beckoning, she has led me here. Hmm. Have you finished your composition? Not yet. There's something missing, though I can't put my finger on it. What do you think? Well, uh, the words have a, um, lyrical quality, broadly speaking. Lyrical? Okay. Hmm. That's Is it. Is he going to help us get Music. the Music. These words would ring all the truer were they sung. Ah, but alas, oh, we need I to have no for him. The bard seems to be rather distracted by his inability to complete his composition. Okay, what is this? It's a water pitcher, full to the brim. Can I take it? Please, don't touch that. It is my only means of returning through the desert. Not that I would choose to do so again. Even if open arms were to herald my arrival, I doubt I would know my way back. You trek okay. through the desert with only a pitcher of water? It is no mere pitcher. It is enchanted. Really? Home. Is there a place I'm meant to be? Where there's a face I want to see. Hmm. Then I would I wonder leave if we could do something this with that. past behind. No more reprieve. Through with hiding. Can we talk to him again? Your picture intrigues me. What does it do? What do you think it does? Produces water. From thin air. Of course. Enough for a dozen men at a time. Okay. Sounds. How does your picture work? You only have to say the word written inside at the bottom. What nice. word is that? You could read it for yourself. Were it your business to? The bard seems... Okay. So we got to figure out how to get that picture. Why does the end not come to me? <sighs> I'll try again. Oh boy. Let's head on. And go put our, our booty up. And then I want to, I really want to figure out what the, the code would be for that book. But I haven't seen any paintings. There's this, and it looks like there's stuff behind it, but... I don't know. Did we look? I wonder. Maybe we didn't look at the library. Um, and then behind the tapestry, possibly? We could try it. Let's, let's uh, go to the library. Where are they? Oh, okay. Carefully examining oh. the bookshelf, you notice something there unusual about one of the volumes. Only the spines are apparent, and they seem to be stuck together. All right, so now we can interact with it. Aha! Okay, so now we. You can should see. practice your aim. Let's look at these. There are five levers arranged in a row. You have a feeling random selection won't help you. All right, so now let's lower it. And maybe, I think we got disintegrated after we looked at it before. And maybe that's why when we looked at the tapestry, nothing happened. Let's see what happens now. All right. You have always admired this lovely tapestry. It's one of the few bright spots in this dreary house. All right, so let's move it. You lift the bottom of the tapestry and peer behind it. The wall is filled with cracks. You can see why Mananid would hang such a tapestry here. There are also dozens of charcoal drawings, there, oh, diagrams, okay. maps, no. and notes to programmers 
with The Legend of King's <laughs> Quest IV. But you're uninterested in this, mm -hmm. since you presently have your hands full with King's Quest III. You lower the tapestry and smooth out the wrinkles. Okay, so we have cleared out everything we need. Um, I don't think there is any pictures in here, right? There is this one, but we didn't want to touch that one. You don't one. like the look of that place. You'd rather not touch it. And there's nothing we can, like, cover it with. It makes me wonder if there is something behind it. But if there is, we can't do anything about it just yet. We looked behind the wizard painting. There was nothing there. Let's look in the office just in case. Um, there's this. If we move that, is there anything behind that? The chart is firmly attached to the wall. Okay. So, nothing in there. There's no other pictures. What about in here? Look in the kitchen. I think we already tried looking behind the moose. Yeah, I just, I don't see anything. So, so we wait for Mananan to get back. And then, uh tend to his needs and we'll be ready for the next uh time he heads out all right now he'll be back there he is i am hungry prepare me a meal at once all right i've got your gruel ready sir and then we'll talk to him again is that's like the only time we can talk to him is when he's eating? Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. All right, here you go, sir. Gruel. Om nom nom. Eat it up. Eventually, we'll probably poison that for you. I am curious, Master. A dangerous mindset, boy. I know, but... I was wondering, how powerful are you? Impudence! Not at all, I was just wondering, if Ludor were to be invaded, would it be well protected by your magic? <laughs> of course, irrelevant though that notion is, invaders would never reach these shores. My spells over the wind and weather would destroy any hostiles long before they caught sight of this land. Huh. You surmise that you won't be taking any boat trips while he's around. Indeed. As for invaders from the west, they would only meet their demise in the endless scorched wasteland. And even if they endured, they would never survive an encounter with that desert beauty. Hmm. Mananin's mouth flickers upwards slightly in an odd manner. If you didn't know any better, you'd say he was thinking about someone he fancied. You wonder who it might be. Oh my. Mananan does not appear. Okay, so interesting thoughts. All right. Well, that is going to conclude today's episode. So we have made some good progress, I think. We have gone out into the world. We've basically discovered how to feed the wizard. We always need to have a bowl of porridge on hand. Um, so we're going to have to make frequent trips to Baby Bear, at least for now. Um, we know to avoid the thieves. We still need to figure out about the honey. Uh, I have my suspicions about the chicken. There's still so much more to explore as well. And we need to figure out how to get the loot so we can give it to the bard. And then perhaps get the pitcher of water in exchange. So, And then maybe we can head across the desert. I'm starting to see that that may be the direction we need to go. So I think everything we have is going to be uh, in preparation for that, perhaps. Uh, so we're going to be looking into ways we can accomplish that goal in the future episodes. So if you like this kind of content, please make sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, all that good stuff. If you want to watch live or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash theyr27, I have my schedule posted in the about and in the description. And if you want to see which games I'm playing each day, I post them on x.com slash theyr27. And I hope you'll join me in the next one. Until then, guys, bye.